Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a close look at this past weekend's EU and NA tournament which saw the 2018 Summer Finals winners Method Black take the crown in EU while their sister team Method Orange were victorious in the NA Cup. By breaking down the comps and matchups that were seen in these two tournaments, you should be able to come away from this video with a good idea of some of the best comps right now for you to go out and play yourselves. Before we get into the actual comps, it's important that we address one of the biggest factors that impacted how the first tournaments of BFA were played. As most of you may be aware, the tournaments take place on a special tournament realm where players have access to a ton of gear to build special sets for specific matchups. In this particular tournament, two of the standout items were actually tank trinkets, the Ritual Bandages and the Veiled Eye. These two trinkets had a huge impact on the overall meta of the tournament as players became very difficult to kill, resulting in most games being taken to deep dampening. Alright, with that out of the way, let's move on to our analysis of the comp scene in the two cups. Starting with the EU Cup, there were two standout comps in Assassination and Outlaw RMD and Turbo Cleave with the Druid. Together, these two comps took out pretty much everything that was thrown at them and unsurprisingly were the two comps that made it all the way to the final. Outside of these two comps that dominated the tournament, we also saw a few other comps utilised to moderate success, with Windwalker and Hans Shaman being used to take games off of Method Black's RMD, and Warrior Mage Druid being used in return to defeat the Windwalker and Hans Shaman. The only notable comps outside of the ones we already mentioned are XRB's choice to counterpick RMP with Windwalker DK Resto Shaman playing the Spirit Link talent in an attempt to run down the Disc Priest, and Boomkin SP Resto Shaman which was used to make it into the top 6. So, with both RMD and Turbo Cleave being our pick for the best comps in the EU tournament, let's break down both of these comps and discuss why they were so successful. Starting with Turbo Cleave, XRB to the Moon used this comp to make it all the way to the grand finals, undefeated. They started off by taking out Making the Movies RMP in a 34% dampening game. Their strategy was simple, stay alive and oom um the Disc Priest. However, that's much easier said than done, as the Disc Priest was pumping out damage equal to or greater than the rest of his team, as seen in the Tolveron game where he was actually able to come second overall in damage done. In order to survive, Blizzo, Zipai and Looney had to rotate defensive cooldowns in response to each of the RMP's kill attempts, while Zipai has to throw out as much of his own healing as possible whenever he's under pressure. We saw Zipai survive time and time again on extremely low health due to his incredible off healing and surviving long enough to eventually allow them to score a kill on Acrolols. Now, although we saw XRB to the Moon swap to Windwalker DK Resto Shaman to take out Making a Movie's RMP, this change was made purely to counter the Disc Priest and was not possible against Temple Storm as they played with a Resto Druid. XRB came away with a clean 3-0, managing to take out Nixie's Warrior and Rogue before finishing up the series with an excellent kill on Minpoike's Resto Druid. Their game plan here was pretty much the same, stay alive and eventually win with raw damage. Both Blizzo and Zipai spent most of their time attacking Nixie, while swapping to Minpoike whenever he pushed in. This allowed them to deal more damage than Tempo Storm, which aligns with their win condition of staying alive and out DPSing the opposing team. In this particular series, their swaps to Minpoike were incredibly effective, and led to kills in both their second and third win. However, swaps onto the healer did not do nearly as much to Chas in the grand finals, where they lost 4-1 to Method Black's RMD. The main difference between Temple Storm's RMD and Method Black's RMD came with a complete shift in playstyle, and of course, Waz playing Assassination instead of Outlaw. Although both versions of the comp work extremely well, for this particular matchup, Assassination was definitely the right call, as the games were going deep into dampening and adding healing reduction via Deadly Brew has a ton of value in longer games. In order to win this matchup, Method Black utilised Raikou's extremely powerful slow from his Frost Mage to kite around the map and purposefully take the game deep into dampening. This is because the game did not really begin until dampening had racked up enough for Method Black to justify pushing in and set up real kill attempts as doing it too soon could result in them burning through their own defensive cooldowns too quickly while risking not being able to kill through Z-Pi's off heals. Of course, this strategy was mostly applied due to the fact that tank trinkets were in play and they were facing such a formidable turbo cleave. Anyway, Method Black pretty much spent the early game just trading defensive cooldowns as needed while keeping their distance and rarely committing any offensive pushes as a team. They of course made sure to at least apply some counter pressure with Kidney Shots and Frozen Orb, but overall they were not trying to close out the game, and instead just wanted to live until dampening was high enough to start pushing for a kill. 
Eventually, Meth and Black decide that it's time to start pushing for a kill at 60% dampening on the Tolveron game, forcing both Blizzos and Lumi's Trinkets. At that point, they reset and again push, setting up triple CC and edging closer to a kill. They again repeat their triple CC setup one more time and close out the game. In contrast to the RMD vs Turbo Cleave matchup, we saw Method Black win in the opener in the closing game of the EU Cup as they execute an extremely powerful opener after Waz finds Looney in stealth, showing us just how powerful an RMD's opener can be if you don't respond to it correctly. Moving on from the EU Cup, NA saw a very different approach to the comps that were played. While Europe's best comps had involved Restle Druids, NA instead saw more success with Restle Shamans. Eventual champions Method Orange had major success with DH Boomy Resto Shaman, a comp that would not have done as well on EU due to Root Beam not working on Resto Druids. We also saw the Super Rejects do incredibly well with two different Warrior Cleaves in Ret Warrior Shaman and DH Warrior Shaman, while both the Gosu Crew and Super Whales had success with different variations of Jungle Cleave. We've decided to single out DH Boomy Shaman as the sole top comp from the NA region, as it was the only comp we felt dominated the series it was played in. Method Orange took this tournament by storm, not dropping a single set and dominating their opponents with DH Boomkin Resto Shaman. The comp proved to be very versatile, as they were able to win in one of two ways, either by ooming enemy healers, or by endlessly CCing them, as Root Beam, Fell Eruption, Imprison and Cyclone all share different DRs, allowing for incredibly long CC chains. Their victories did not come without some excellent play though, as Sidu was constantly forced to bring his team back from the brink of death as we've seen him do many times over the years. The comp in general went between two different playstyles. We either saw Method Orange committing for a kill with crazy amounts of CC, or we saw Samayam and Sidu with more of a defensive mindset, focusing on survival until they were ready to set up a kill again, while Trill spent the majority of his time focusing on dealing as much damage as possible to keep the opposing healer's mana bar moving down. All in all, the comp worked out incredibly well for Method Orange in this tournament, and it will be interesting to see if NA adapts by incorporating more Resto Druids into their comps. So, as we mentioned earlier, the biggest difference between the two regions is the success of Balanced Druids in NA wouldn't have been the same in EU due to the popularity of Resto Druids in EU's top two comps, RMD and Turbo Cleave. As for where the meta stands right now, EU has clearly developed a Frost Mage plus Resto Druid meta, whereas NA is leaning towards more of a Resto Shaman dominated meta in both Melee Cleaves and Melee Caster comps. Okay everyone, that's it for now. Please let us know what you thought of this video in the comments below, and if you'd like to see more videos like this after future tournaments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.